In this video, we're going to be seeing why you don't own your Mafia City account. So, let's get started. Recently, I did a poll asking you guys whether you own your accounts or not, and around 88% players voted yes and only 12% voted no. Then I did a second poll asking the same question but in a slightly different way. I asked who owns your account, and this time only 65% players voted that they own their accounts, while 31% voted that Yacht Games does. So in this video, we're going to find out the correct answer to that question. But before I begin this video, I just want to make it clear that nothing mentioned in this video should be taken as legal advice. With that being said, let's take a look at something that nobody likes to read, and that is the terms of use or terms of service. For those of you that don't know, the terms of use is an agreement that you have to agree to if you want to play the game. You can find the terms on the Mafia City website, I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to take a look. Once you've opened the terms, if you scroll down a little, you'll notice that there is an intellectual property slash ownership section. If you want to know whether you own your account or not, you simply read the third paragraph of this section, which reads as follows. You acknowledge that you do not acquire any ownership rights by using the service or by accessing any materials posted on the service by Yada Games or any derivative works thereof. So hopefully that's good enough to answer the question of whether you own your account or not. This however raises another question. Well, if you don't own your account, then what exactly is the relationship that you have with your account? And this is answered in the very next paragraph. It reads as follows. Yada Games grants you a personal, non-exclusive, non-transferable, revocable, limited scope license to use the service solely for the purpose of viewing and using the applicable services and for no other purpose whatsoever. Your license to use the service is limited by these terms. This means that they've only given you a license to use your account. It's non-transferable, which means you cannot sell your account, and it's also revocable, which means that they can take away the license from you whenever they want and completely ban your account, which is something they do a lot, especially in case of refunds. They also have a clause in their terms which says if you violate the terms, then they have the right to ban any one or all of your accounts with or without warning. Now, this might make you think that you're safe as long as you don't violate these terms. However, just below that, they say that they can do all of the above for literally any other reason. What this also means is that if you violate the terms, they don't have to ban your account. It's up to them whether they want to ban you or not. They might ban some players, while others, they might not. So now we know that you don't own your account, but only have a license to use it. But what about the items and resources within your account? Do you own those? Are you allowed to buy and sell those? Now I know it might seem like a strange question because if you don't own your account, then how can you possibly own the items inside your account? However, there are a few games out there where you can actually own and sell in-game items that you obtain from the game for real money. If you want me to make a post about these type of games, let me know in the comments down below. To know whether you own your items and whether you can sell them or not, you'd want to scroll down a little further to the section where they talk about virtual currency. It says that you cannot purchase, sell, or exchange virtual currency outside the service. So buying and selling resources or packs outside the game isn't allowed. So this probably also applies to bots, since buying bots is just an indirect way of buying resources. It also says that Yada Games has a right to modify and eliminate virtual currency whenever it wants. So if there is a glitch that gives you a ton of gold and other items in the game, and you use all of these items and gold immediately, they can still eliminate all of the items and gold that you receive through this glitch by making your balance go negative. If you've played the game long enough, then you've probably seen this happen before. So basically, if you make a mistake, then you have to pay, and if they make a mistake, then you have to pay. If you're liking this video so far, then be sure to scroll down and hit that like button, and if you're not liking it, then hit the dislike button, because both of those help the channel tremendously. There's also another paragraph in the terms which says that you cannot use the game to do a bunch of different things, including publicly informing members about bots, exploits, or bugs which give players an unfair advantage. So this means that within the game, you cannot talk about bots, exploits, bugs, buying and selling resources or accounts, etc. If you do so, there's a risk that your account might get permanently banned, even if you were saying it just as a joke. And finally, towards the end, in the limitation of liability section, you'll find a paragraph which says that Yada Games assumes no liability or responsibility 
for any errors, mistakes, or inaccuracies of content, which as we saw earlier basically means that if they make a mistake, then you pay. If they give you some misleading information about a pack which makes you buy it, then it's not their problem, it's yours. Also, if their servers get hacked and if any of your information is leaked, then they're again not liable for it. It's not their problem if the servers go down and you get zeroed, and it's again not their problem if you suffer any losses because of misleading info in the game. So those were a few things that I wanted to cover in this video. Obviously, there are a lot more things that I haven't covered, like they can use the content that you upload in the game however they want. So be sure to check out the terms of use yourself. In my opinion, it makes sense to at least spend 10 to 20 minutes taking a look at the terms of use, especially if you're going to spend more than 100 hours or thousands of dollars playing the game. Obviously, these terms are not very different from the terms of service of other mobile games or games in general. If you take a look at the terms of service of Warpath, which is another game that I play on this channel, you'll notice that they're quite similar to Mafia City's terms. However, I prefer Lilith's terms a lot more since they're much more detailed. I'll leave a link to the terms of service of Warpath as well in the description below. So go ahead and take a look at the terms yourself and let me know if you want me to make a video about how you can own items in games. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found the video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.